Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, first of all, a very, very happy new year. This is uh, my first makeup tutorial of 2019. I didn't do a lot in December because it's December, it's Christmas, you know, I was very, very busy, also had to work, but I thought I would make a video, a makeup tutorial where I use products that I really like in 2018, my favorites, not all of them, of course. So yeah, that is what I did. Um, I also filmed a video where I talk about my favorite of last year. So if that video is already finished, if I already edited, I will link it somewhere in the description box. If not, then please, you know, hit the notification button or something so you don't miss out on any video I post if you want to. So yeah, let's keep it short. If you want to see uh, what I use and what I did, then please keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Maybe I need to wash my hair. Wow. We definitely need to do something about this face because it's not going the right way. All right, so I don't know if the hair is much better, but this is what I could do. Um, I already did one eyebrow off camera. I'm gonna do the other one with my favorite eyebrow pencil of all time. It is by MAC, it's called the Eyebrow Styler, and I am in the shade Stud. It's actually a very old product, but they renewed it. It now comes with a brush, like a spoolie on the other side, and I love that. And to be honest, I have tried a lot of eyebrow products every brand out there, well, almost every brand. And I've been using this one for the last couple of six months maybe. And this is by far the best. I'm not even kidding. It's not a new product. I just didn't know about it. I did know about it, but I never tried it. Do you know what I mean? But it's very good. I'm gonna brush through my eyebrows and then I'm gonna fill it in. Hmm. I need to pluck my eyebrows. Every time when I do my eyebrows, it is kind of a mess. It's not straight, it's not how I want it to be, but thank God there's concealer, so I can always fix that. And because of this lighting, I now see that I really had to pluck my eyebrows because there are a lot of hairs up here. All right, so it's a little bit uh, red up here, I think. It's because I did pluck my eyebrows. I thought it was just a little bit of hair, but it seemed to be a lot. So I just used my tweezer and plucked them. That's why it's a little bit red. But let's move on to the eyebrows. I'm just gonna fill it in and then, this is what I always like to do, especially on the front of my eyebrows, is just pushing the product up. That way it's just gonna give me kind of like that faded eyebrow, so it's not gonna be a square at the front because I do not like that. Yeah, like this, and then I'm gonna clean it with some concealer and my all-time favorite, MAC 212 Flat Definer Brush, which is to me the most flat brush there is. I've used a lot of brands, but after a few months they get a lot thicker. I don't like that, it needs to be very flat. And then I'm gonna use the Nurse Complete something, it's a, it's a long name. This concealer by MAC, by MAC, by NARS, and Ginger. Using the MAC Maximizer to make it a little bit more you know, like hairy, hairy, a little bit more full, just a little bit, don't use too much. And then I'm gonna use the MAC Clear Brow Gel to set. If I use all of these products for my eyebrows, I know that whatever I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna party, if I'm gonna sweat, my eyebrows will stay in place, and that's what I like. Okay, so brows are done. We're now gonna move on to the eyes because that's what I always do first. And I'm gonna start off with priming my eyes using my P. Louise base, which is freaking awesome. Again, I think I told you this a million times. I still have the original shade. I think I need shade three or four. I have number two, which just because I bought this one and it's not finished. It's too light but it's bomb and I'm gonna go over it with eyeshadow anyway, so it doesn't matter. I know she uses a MAC brush, I'm not gonna do that. It just doesn't work for me. I'm just gonna apply with my hands and then I am going to blend it out using my favorite Queen Tarsi blending sponge. Uh, and for eyeshadow, I'm actually a little bit confused. I don't know if I got this palette this year. Wow. It's uh, Morphe 35M. Is this palette from this year or last year? I don't know. Other than this, I don't have a favorite eyeshadow palette. I use this every time when I don't know what to use or what to do with my eyes because I cannot go wrong with this one. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, yeah, let's prime the eyes first. 
this onto my eyes. I don't want to ruin my brows. But that's why I like this sponge because it's very, you know, it has a very sharp point. All right, so for eyeshadow, I'm gonna first start off with using this color, and I'm gonna use my Sigma E40 brush to do so. This is more to give my eyes a little bit of a transition shade. I wanna go pretty dark today, I think. Next up is this baby right here. I'm going to do that with the same brush, by the way. No, I'm lying. I'm going to take my Morphe M441, which is a smaller blending brush. It's a white hair brush, um, a lot more dense than the Sigma E40. This was actually the look that I was wearing on New Year's Eve. Yeah, kind of the same. A little bit less dark, but... I did something like this. I'll wear your Christmas days. I am actually pretty sad that Christmas is over. I know I've, I know that I am a huge Christmas fan and I still have the Christmas tree. I'm gonna remove it Sunday and today is January 3. So on January 6, I'm gonna remove that. But the other trees in the hallway and removed it and it's so sad. That is also the reason why the last couple of two weeks I didn't post, well, I did post one video on YouTube. Um, I didn't post a lot on Instagram it's just because it was Christmas. It was so busy, you know, during the holidays and I spent time with family and being on Instagram and shooting footage is not really a thing that I do during that period because to me, Christmas is the favorite time of the year. So that's fine. I want it to be a little bit more cool than it is right now because it's still kind of brown reddish. So I'm going to take this cooler brown shade and my no let's do the same brush then for the eyelids i'm gonna go in with this very dark brown shade which is again a cooler tone and i'm gonna apply that on my eyelid and a little bit in my crease using a mac 217 i want it to be darker so i'm gonna add this one Taking my MAC 221 and that darker shade, I'm just gonna bring it a little bit more up, a little bit higher. And for liner, of course, I'm gonna go in with my favorite. This is the one by Catrice. I always have five or maybe four in stock because it is the best eyeliner out there. It is matte, it is extremely black, and it's, it's perfection. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to do a wing, by the way. I'm just going to do a little line on the lash line because I want it to be a little bit more like this and then mainly the eyeshadow and not the eyeliner. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm going to show you. All right, so eyeliner is done. We're going to do lashes and for lashes, I'm going to use my favorite, these are called Heavenly by Mink Lashes. The lashes are drying, I already applied the glue on it, and the glue I'm using is the one by Huda Beauty. I believe I started using this one this year. It is my favorite, I always have one in stock. It is waterproof, I don't have to wait for like a minute to let it dry. If you just use a little bit, you can just apply it, and it will stay the entire night. It almost hurts a little bit when you remove it, but I'd rather have that than, you know, having my eyelash on my nose throughout the night. Then I'll quickly apply a little bit of mascara. This is the Benefit, what is it? They are real mascara. And when it comes to applying mascara, just because I'm gonna wear bald lashes, I really don't care what mascara it is. Just, I pick whatever I see and that's what I'm gonna use. Lashes are on. I'm quickly gonna apply a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I'm gonna use about two to three drops and that is just because my face is a little bit dry, maybe because of all the alcohol I had the last couple of weeks. I mean, it's December, I'm not gonna lie. So January will be no alcohol and no McDonald's. Yeah, it's 
time for foundation and of course it's going to be the new NARS foundation it's called the natural radiant long wear foundation I got this in November when I was in Germany and this foundation is everything it stays on my face I even like it more than the um, what's it called to share glow which is a very beautiful foundation but I like this one more it has a little bit more coverage it is not as matte as the the other one by NARS which I don't like at all it's the one with a very liquid I don't know I will mention it somewhere uh, but this one it is bomb I really like it so I'm just gonna apply about two pumps two to three uh, by the way I'm in the shade Barcelona and the brush I'm gonna use is this one by Aua Studio I believe this brush retails for maybe one dollar I got it and I have a lot of foundation brushes and this is the first brush where I can just apply my foundation without having to go over it with a beauty blender it is bomb it is cheap I'm gonna apply the NARS over the face Ugh, and then I'm just gonna blend that you should definitely try this one it's not gonna hurt you because it is extremely cheap and it is so good I even like it more than my Sigma F84 can't believe that I'm telling you this but I do like this more and before I'm gonna do concealer, I'm gonna contour my face and I'm gonna use this very cheap lipstick lookalike concealer by Primark. It is in the shade Chestnut and it is freaking bomb. Why do I like it? It is because it's a very like sheer concealer. It's not gonna give you a lot of coverage and that's why I like it because it's easy to blend out and if you wanna have more, you can just easily add on a little bit more product. Um, and if you compare it with the LA Girl Pro, which I use a lot to contour, like you just need a tiny amount and if you use too much, your entire cheek will be filled with product. And I don't have that with this one. And let's not forget that it is a Jimmy Chip. And as always, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques blending brush. Contour brush, sorry. Did you see that? I normally use a brush for my nose, but I don't have it here. And I'm just too lazy to go upstairs to take it. So I'm just gonna use my sponge. I think it's just completely gone right now. Hello. Time for a concealer, and I thought about this one a long time, but I just don't have a favorite concealer of this year. Um, Tarte Shape Tape is my all-time favorite concealer. Um, I recently bought the NARS Radiant Creamy one again, uh, which I forgot that I love it so much. So I'm just gonna use this one. Of course, uh, I know in a lot of videos, I saw the Huda Beauty um, concealer, which I think is a good concealer, but it's not better than my shape tape and it's also not better than my NARS so that will not be a favorite of this year. So I'm going to use my NARS in medium to in ginger. Of course we're going to highlight with the MAC Prep and Prime in a light boost. All right, to set, I'm gonna use my all-time favorite, the RCMA Translucent Powder and my new favorite brush. This is a MAC 240S, which is a tapered blending brush. Um, you can use it for eyeshadow, but it's pretty big. I like to use it to set my under eyes because it's kind of a teardrop and it's smaller. Um, this one used to be my favorite. This is by Sigma, but as you can tell, the one by Sigma Morphe, I'm sorry, the Morphe 438 used to be my favorite for my under eyes, but I like the smaller by MAG more, and I just used the Morphe too thick. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because I'm gonna apply a liquid illuminator, and that will be, of course, the one by Iconic London, and I have the original shade. We're gonna go back into the eyes because that one is not finished yet. I'm just gonna use two shades. I'm gonna mix this one with the darker one. 
taking my smaller brush, the pencil brush E30 of Phi Sigma. And with that brush, I'm gonna go in with the darker shade. I'm just gonna run it along the lower lid. Of course, some MAC Feline. Blending it out a little bit. Okay, time to set my face, and I'm going to use the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Powder by Tara Tilbury, which is an amazing powder. Mine is broken, can you that? But I'm still going to use it because there's still powder in it. I do have a new one, but I'm going to finish this one first. And this is literally going to give you this Airbrush look. I am obsessed with this powder. I'm not even kidding. I am in the shade medium. The only thing I don't like about it is that they only have three shades, like a lighter, a medium, and then a dark. But on the other hand, it doesn't give a lot of color payoff, so I don't know. It works for me. Then I have another favorite of mine, which is a very old popular product. It is a Studio Fix Powder by MAC, only I have the shade NW50. And what I like to do is take a little bit of this product and use it to bronze my face or contour. It's kind of in between. I know that this is a bit too warm to be called a contouring powder, but I like it. I just love it. I've been using it for a few months right now and I'm obsessed with it, especially in combination with this contouring brush or I don't even know if it's a contouring brush. It's the Morphe 530 M530. I'm just picking up a little bit of this product. Don't take too much because it is a foundation powder. So it's gonna give you a lot of coverage. It's gonna give you a lot of color payoff. And because it is so dark, you wanna be careful. So let's do this. It's gonna go like this. You see that? Taking my Tom Ford bronzing brush and a MAC Gold Deposit, which is a highlighter, but as you know, I use it as a bronzer as well, just to make the Studio Face powder a little bit more glowy and a lot more intense. I like that. I'm not really a natural type of girl, so yeah. All right, let's do some highlighter, and I'm gonna use the one by Amreezy, or Amreezy. What is it, Amreezy, Amreezy? I don't know. Blending this way. I don't bake for hours. I just let it sit for maybe a minute just to make it a little bit more defined and then I'm done. For lips, it's going to be one new product for me and one very old product, but I just discovered the beauty of this product this year. It is this small lip liner right here. It's by MAC. It's called Bittersweet. It is a pro longwear lip liner um, in dark brown. I love it. I use it with every nude that I have. It's very cool tone, so it's not going to give you that extreme warm lip. And the lipstick that I've been loving since a month now, since I was in Germany, um, is the Sephora Liquid Lipstick. It kind of reminds me, well, it reminds me a lot of the formula of the Huda Beauty ones, the liquid lipstick, because it's very thin. And my favorite shade is 40. So I'm gonna apply my lip liner first, and then I'm gonna use the liquid lipstick. And last but not least, some Glam Glow setting spray. All right, so I'm quickly gonna do something about this crazy hair of mine, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so that was my makeup tutorial, including a lot of my favorite products of 2018. I quickly did my hair. I just teased it a little bit at some, not some, a lot of hairspray in my hair, and this is what I could do. I'm gonna wash it tonight, don't worry. Anyway, that was the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your favorites. I would love to know, and let me know what you think of this makeup look. If you recreated it, please tag me on Instagram. It is just my name and my last name. I will link it somewhere on the screen. I wanna thank you so much for watching, and I don't know if I told you before, but happy new year. I love you guys, and I will talk to you in my next video.